Welcome to Entrepreneur SOS with your hosts, Sandy Colling and Monique Moore. We help business owners navigate the often complex world of system, organization, and structure. Every week, we bring you expert advice or real-life stories from successful entrepreneurs who have overcome the challenges of building and scaling a business. Whether you're just starting out or looking to take your business to the next level, this is the podcast for you. So join us each week and let's grow your business together. And don't forget to subscribe and leave a review as it helps us reach more entrepreneurs like you. And today, we're going to talk about how to harness the power of lead magnets to attract, engage, and convert your ideal customers. So, Monique, there are maybe some of our audience here that don't know what a lead magnet is. And you looked up a really great definition. So what is a lead magnet to kick us off? Yeah. So for those of you that don't know what a lead magnet is, maybe you're new to marketing or the term, I'm going to read you a really simple definition, which I think explains it simply. So a lead magnet is a marketing term for a free incentive or offer that a business gives to potential customers in exchange for their contact information, such as name or email address. The purpose of a lead magnet is to entice people to sign up for a mailing list, become a subscriber, or to build a relationship with their audience and ultimately promote their product or service. It's just so simple. It's so simple. And it's so like, let's talk about, because a lot of people, I think the word lead magnet just gets them totally fried Spun out. (laughs) Yeah. They're like, I don't even know what to do. That's so tacky. That's so markety. I'm not a marketer. So let's just demystify this for you all. Because I think so (laughs) many of you, you hear these terms and you, you spin out and it's so simple. You do not have to overthink this. No, absolutely not. It can be very, very simple. It can be as complicated as you want it to be, but it can be as simple as an episode of a podcast. It can be a quiz. It could be a coupon. It can be an ebook. It can be a checklist. Checklists are great. It could be a Canva template. It yep. could be it could be People a love Facebook. Canva templates. <laughs> Guys, it could also be like a pinned post in like your Facebook feed or your Instagram feed or your TikTok feed. Okay. It could be a PDF where you just give some facts about something. I've even seen as simple as a Google doc with some information. Seriously. Absolutely. Does not have to be this fancy schmancy thing. Yes. So I have gotten links to Google Mm -hmm. templates and docs, make a copy of this for your own use. It is not fancy. Mm -hmm. And and so here's the thing, a lead magnet. So so if you're not understanding and you're new, or if maybe you're not new and you're like, I've been thinking about using a lead magnet, I don't really know what to do. Let's talk about, let's talk about how you create a lead magnet, Sandy, because I think that is what holds a lot of people up. So let's use an example. Let's just say that you're in, and because we're both in health and wellness, right? let's do this. Okay. So I'm going to do an example that I've used, and then maybe you can use an Mm -hmm. example that you've used. So when I was in a a company prior to the, another company I was in, I created a league minute called what's the scoop and poop. And what it was, was a lead magnet around foods that helped you with digestion, right? It was just a simple PDF. I created in Canva off a template. I looked the stuff up on Google. I gave that information. And then I offered that as value to my audience. Now, the reason it's a lead magnet is because in that particular PDF, I had a link to a product that could also help them with their digestion. So now I gave them value and I was able to sell them. Not to say that that's what you want to do with every single lead magnet, but that is an example of how I used a lead magnet to create sales. Also in health and wellness, I had a lead magnet very similar to yours that gave information of the benefits of collagen, why and what it does in the body and the different types of collagen, just given information. And honestly, people literally like, oh, you know, so it's providing value. It's giving information for free so that 
you build trust. Yes. So lead magnets are meant to do really three things, right? They're, they're, they're meant to build no like, and trust with your audience, which builds rapport. Cause if your audience doesn't trust you and looks at you like an authority, they're not going to purchase from you. And it's also to give them value, which again, builds the trust and the rapport. Right. And it can, it can be something with, with an offer in it. And it can be something without an offer in it. So exactly. it doesn't necessarily have to have an offer guys. You can just give something of value. Sandy and I have a, have a masterclass that we did on goals that we have used as a lead magnet. Mm -hmm. We have a time tracker that yeah. we, that's an exercise to help you track your time and manage your time. We've used that as a lead magnet. It can also be if you want to invite people into your Facebook group, either paid or unpaid. Ours is unpaid at this point. So it can be used for many things. But, you know, you want to definitely have something that is of value, that is of education, that they you know, that that your audience, whoever your audience is, your niche is looking for and can gain value from. So a way that you can do this, there's a couple of ways if you're like, I don't know what to do. Well, one one I would say and suggest is get chat GPT and ask it <laughs> to give you a list of 10 things that your niche needs. Give mm -hmm. me 10 ideas for a lead magnet for blank niche. It could be yeah. people who want to lose weight, people who buy boats. It doesn't matter whatever your business <laughs> is. Right. So that's random. You guys, here's the thing. Like you're providing value to a niche. If you sell boats, and you sell, let's just say you sell speed boats. Well, you want to market to people who are interested in the boating community, especially the mm -hmm. speed boating community. What are the things that they need to learn? Maybe they need, you know, the best items to use to clean and restore a boat, right? So now you're providing value, right? You're creating that mm -hmm. exchange of information between yourself and your prospective customer. Yeah. And that's all it is. It's so, it's, so simple. Yeah. And it's and not, I, it doesn't have to be complicated at all. And if you're really like, oh my God, I can't use Canva, which by the way, there are so many free templates that all you need to do is change the colors and some images and the words, and you've got a template there that you can use. There are a ton of checklists. There are a ton of oh gosh, things planners and planners. Habit trackers. And I mean, you oh. name everything. I mean, seriously, just go into Canva and look at the templates and type in planner, type in journal, type in, type, type in, in lead in magnet, shopping list. I, type in I, lead. Yeah. I, type I, in I, lead I, magnet. I'm telling you type in lead magnet, type in list, checklist. Let's just say you're somebody who's in health and wellness and you want to, you can give a meal plan, right yep. guys? You can give a free meal plan. You can give away a free workout. You can do one of the things that I love as you kind of grow your business, a really great lead magnet is doing a challenge. Yeah. People love challenges. And it doesn't have to be a long challenge. I mean, some of them I've actually seen, most of them are three to five days, but you can even do a one day challenge. Seriously. There is nothing wrong with it. Again, as long as you are giving people value, providing value, that's the key. Exactly. And it's education. So, it's so, so simple. And so don't, don't overthink this to sit down and make a list of what kind of value can you provide to your audience. And if you have to just record a short video about it, you know, just put yourself on zoom, hit record, upload Ooh. that to YouTube and you got your lead magnet on yep. keep it unlisted and you're done yeah. until you get into the jam of it all. You know, you don't have to think of this big fancy thing, but then we wanted to move in because now that you have your lead magnet, you know, <laughs> now that you've created it, how do you use it? Because this is, this is thing you, you, it's great that you've made one. We love it that you've, you've taken the time, but if you don't use it, it's not going to do you a whole lot of good. So Sandy, let's talk about places that people can utilize lead magnets. I loved the idea that you had with the signature. I thought that was brilliant. Lead magnet and linking it into your email signature. Do you so want can you my... explain that a little bit? So if you have a link, say to a Google Sheets or a Google Doc, that is a quiz or the 10 reasons why you need to have collagen every day or 10 reasons. Just put it in a Google Doc and that link you will post in your, or you will put that link in your signature, get my 10 free tips for collagen, why to take collagen or whatever title you want to use, and you will link it and boom. 
or you know if you have a an ebook or your upcoming challenge join my upcoming challenge you know whatever join that it is my free facebook group or listen watch to my free podcast TikTok or podcast or tiktok because every time you send an email and you know not everybody's going to click on it obviously but the more it gets out there the better so that's one place that i think is really brilliant to put it it's, it's a place where you wouldn't think about putting it, guys, and that's a really good place. The obvious is if you have an email, and I will say this to everybody and anybody who is in business, you need to start creating an email list. I know that we all talk in the DMs. That's awesome. That's super. But you want to still get people moved to your email list. So even if you're starting a conversation with somebody, say in DM, let's just say you're sliding somebody into your DMs and you still want to say, hey, I have this great free product for them. Would you love a copy of it? You give them a link to a funnel. Now you can do this for free on MailChimp, by the way. You can do this for free on system.io, by the way. There are a lot of free resources out there. Don't oh. just give them the PDF. You want something in exchange. Get, yeah, their email get, address. get their email address. And guys, hey, not that even this if is... you don't have a funnel, just say, hey, give me your email address and I'll send it to you. And then just put it in a Google Docs. So you have their name and their email list. At least you're starting an email list. But you need an email list because you do not own your social media. And how, remember when two years ago, Facebook and Instagram shut down and people were, influencers were freaking out because it was literally done close to 24 hours. But if you have an email list, you don't have to worry about social media because honestly, I mean, they're talking about charging for Facebook at, well, they already are Instagram. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know, so, and yeah, they may pay to play, we, man. We don't know what's going to happen. So email list is probably the most important thing for your business. I mean, y'all got 70,000 followers on TikTok. That's great. But guess what? What if TikTok goes away? Like they keep talking. They're talking about. (laughs) You you don't have 70,000 followers anymore. You got zip. So get yourself an email list. And I'm telling you, just do it. And if you, and we'll do a whole nother episode, maybe on emails to start helping you guys, but get your email. Um, Email list, I I think is like number one, create a a funnel. Funnels, it's not hard, but just get an email list. And the best way, the easiest way to get that is if you provide value and put out a lead magnet, whatever it is that you decide to do, put it out there, get their email address, dump it on a sheet or a doc or a Trello board or wherever, a CRM, keep it. And either have CTAs and lives that you do Facebook lives or have them in TikToks like, hey, you want my free tips? Go here, grab it, you know, grab my free tips on this at blah, blah, blah you know, WW blah. If you have a, if you have a domain, if you don't say, Hey, DM me and I'll get you free tips and then give them a link to, or get their email and say, Hey, I'll send this to you via email. email. Okay. And you've got to grab that email. And, and most people they're fine with that email. Oh yeah. No, even phone. You're not asking for their social security number. It's literally your email address. People are happy to give it to you. They're happy to give it. Okay. So that is the number one way. If you can get your email, get a funnel up, that's great. If you can get it in the DM and ask, get an email. The second place is I I really, truly believe you all need to like start thinking about when you do your videos, whether that be Facebook Lives, TikToks, YouTubes, Reels. I don't care where you're doing your videos. Okay. Because you all got to be doing video. I know I got to do it too. I don't like doing it, but we're doing it. So video is king right now, but you can, you, your CTA can also be like follow, but it could also be, here's a trick that I learned from some women in network marketing. This is how they do it. So let's just say again, we're going to use the sake of collagen because we kind of use that. We both are in the collagen business. So let's just say you want to learn about 10 foods that help boost your collagens. Great lead magnet right there. Great. If you want to know, you know, you may do a video and you talk about two of the 10, right? You could say, Hey, if you want to know the other eight, Eight. I had to do math, (laughs) the other eight DM me the word skin 
and I'll, I'll connect with you. And now you're having a conversation and you can get their email address and you can also start having a conversation for a prospect. Like and you can do this simple. in any niche, in any anything niche. that you do. Coaching. Absolutely. It could be 10 mindset tips. It could to... be boating. <laughs> it could be speed boating. Pile. It doesn't matter. <laughs> there you can think about your customer yeah. and what they need. And that's all you need to do to get a lead magnet. You know, the other thing is, you know, coupon codes. I like the idea of sometimes. Yeah. Yep. You know, giving a coupon code. If, you're if in- you have a product, if you yes. have a product, absolutely. Not everybody has a product, but if you have a product, coupon codes, because, you know, people love free stuff or people love a discount. They do. And then the free challenge. If you're a coach, man, mm-hmm. you got to like, you got to tap into like free challenges, free interviews, free groups, give away value. You're, yeah. You know, I think people that think they're going to, in this day and age, get something for nothing. I hate to break it to you. It's just not going to work that way. And, and don't be, you know, don't expect anything by giving away. Yeah, the it's this unconditional. Is, Absolutely. This is unconditional. They may not be interested in your product or services. And you're just like, Hey, cool. No That's problem. Totally fine. Mm-hmm. You want to just be super not attached to that income. You want to provide it like it's value. Absolutely. And you want to give it because you want to help, you want to support, you want to provide value. And honestly, it's like everything. Sometimes it'll take a year. Sometimes it'll take, you know, five lead magnets. Sometimes it'll never happen, but it doesn't matter. People that see you giving, providing value. I don't even want to say giving away because you're providing value and you're creating curiosity and you are showing authority And people will start to trust you. And they're like, you know what? This chick's got it going on. I think I may want to tap into whatever it is that she's doing or that she has. They're more likely to follow you on your journey in your social media if you're providing value and giving them information and we not with a lead magnet. But the key here, I think what we're trying to really hit home, the reason you want this is because you want their information. You do not want to rely on social media for everything. Social media is a great tool. I use DMs. I slide in people's DMs. I do the whole thing with connecting. But if you have something that you can offer to people that are interested, then really starts to solidify that relationship. And it allows you to build that relationship, even if like they met you on TikTok. And let's just say they don't follow you on TikTok or they follow you, but they don't really watch your videos on TikTok. Well, now you have their email information. Now, if you're emailing them, you're building a relationship through that email, even if it's one email a week. And you're going to be able to nurture that relationship maybe into a future customer. Exactly. You know? So, or a referral or anything. So it's right. just, there's so much that goes into lead magnets. And it may not be this time around. It may be for your next offer, but if they're staying plugged in with you and if they choose not to, they can unsubscribe. But to get them there, to collect the names, to collect the emails is truly probably the most important thing you can do with your business. Because let's face it, without customers, you don't have a business, right? We all need customers. (laughs) Yeah. And I will say this about lead magnets. They're not all home runs too, (laughs) just so you know. (laughs) Test them. Test Test. them. Test. If you are not getting people, like if so, you'll know within probably 30 days, if nobody is biting for your lead magnet, take it down, take put it down, one up. put another one up. Like, don't just be stuck in the one and done. Like, oh, this no. didn't work. No, it just might not be. You maybe didn't hit a home run with that one. Maybe your target market, that's not what they really want. Like, you're like, okay, let's try something else. They it's want. actually you'll- great feedback. It's actually yes. great feedback because you'll know, oh, that's really not. I need to tweak it. So I think it's, I use it as feedback. I think it's a gift. Well, and it also then gives you an idea of they don't want this information. Then is my content not speaking to the right people because sometimes Mm -hmm. your lead magnet can be very connected to your content, right? It usually Mm -hmm. is in some way or form. So if that lead magnet isn't doing good, then you're probably like thinking, why do you want to rethink the content that's attached? Mm -hmm. So it's good feedback. So don't get attached to it. You know, there's a million and one things you can do for a lead magnet. And again, Um, all you have to do is ask chat GPT. If you say, I can't think of anything, trust me, it's free. 
ask it. It'll give you a bazillion ideas. <laughs> and another thing you can do, which is we'll, we'll link in, in the, the show notes. If you don't know the kinds of questions that your people are asking, you can go to answer the public. Mm-hmm. You can type in, you can only do like two searches a day. Yeah, so just know that and make, yeah. and make sure you pick your right country. Cause I always end up with the wrong country if I don't pay attention, <laughs> so pick, pick the right country. But if you at, you put in what it is. So again, let's just say, you know, collagen supplements. Let's just say that's because we're on this kick with collagen, right? So then you can see what are people asking about mm-hmm. in Google about what your topic is. So now it's going to help you to form your lead magnet a lot easier. So then you can take that question and dump, and it, think in about it, and dump it into chat. GPT, <laughs> thing. And, oh. you know, or think about it, whatever works for you. Maybe you're just like, oh yeah, maybe it'll spur some brainstorming yep. brainstorm. Yep. I, you know, don't mm-hmm. get too reliant on that chat. Yeah. GPT, yeah. But it is a great tool, but brainstorm. And then you'll kind of have some ideas of what you can use for your audience and what right. they may be interested in. So awesome. So lead magnets, they're not that complicated, demystified. Actually, this title should be called lead magnet demystified. (laughs) Because it's not a mystery. It's not. Don't don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. So that being said, if you enjoyed what you heard, hit the subscribe button. We'd love to share the love with other entrepreneurs, busy entrepreneurs. And that being said, we'll see you all next week. Thanks, Monique. Bye. Bye.